Hey, good morning, Second Cup friends. Uh, welcome back to Monday. And I uh, hope you had a great weekend. Hope you enjoyed uh, an online service. I uh, thought about the possibility of maybe getting back together as things begin to open up. And maybe in your county, like ours, so we're beginning to go through that process. And we don't really know what that is going to look like. And in some ways, I feel like we kind of almost need to go back and reread chapter 20, right? We're going into another time of crisis, another time of trouble. But uh, let's keep pushing on with uh, Psalm 21. And again, uh, Psalm 20, really this idea of, of coming into time of trouble, we pray, and then there's success, right? Then there's a development where we come home, and uh, Psalm 21 really is the response as the king comes back into the back into the city and the people are rejoicing. Uh, they've survived, he survived in answer to their prayer. And in verses one and two, it says, O Lord, in your strength, the king rejoices and in your salvation, how greatly he exalts. You have given him his heart's desire and have not withheld the request of his lips, Selah. All right, that's a praise party, right? And settle down, settle down. And then verse three, the response, for you meet him with rich blessings. You set a crown of fine gold upon his head. He asked life of you and you gave it to him. Length of days forever and ever. Stop there for a second. Let's just look at verses three and four today. Um, it's interesting, this phrase, you meet him with rich blessings. Again, old King James talks about you prevent him. And the word prevent has changed meaning. It doesn't mean to resist. It means to go ahead of and meet, uh, precede. Uh, I'm going ahead of you and preparing. And so in one sense, we might say that the king is rejoicing. He's having this praise party because he realizes that God has gone ahead of him and prepared him exactly for the hard things that he had to do. The hard thing the king was, a, was facing, God had already gone ahead of him and met him there on the battlefield with rich blessings. It's almost as if God has gone ahead of us and set up camp and waited for us to arrive at the trouble spot. Man, how many times do we sit at home in what we have created, our little cocoon, our protected space, and we think about the thing that has to happen and we say, no, I don't think I'm gonna go do that hard thing. Even though we know it's the thing that God has called us to do, and we, we say, you know, I, I can't possibly do that. No, that's true. Without God's help, we will go to that hard space and we'll crash and burn and die. However, God has gone ahead of us and God is waiting for us there at the battlefield. He's waiting for us at the front line. It says here that you have given him rich blessings. You have done things that are good. They're really good like they're rich, right? Now this is the idea of, of it's over the top, right? There in the trouble spot, God has a cache of really good things for us that we're gonna need for that moment. He's prepared in advance. He has set it up and he says, well, if you'll meet me here, I'm all ready for battle. I've got all these things that you'll need for the day. You've prepared him to do hard things. And then this interesting Second phrase in verse three, you set a crown of fine gold upon his head. I wonder if this isn't the response, right? When he comes home, there's a victor's crown. Uh, there's a sense of accolade that goes with, you have done a hard thing, son, and congratulations, there's an affirmation. Man, I think about all the crowns that are promised for the believer in Jesus Christ when they get to heaven to be with him and to be uh, there at the end of life, at the end of our earthly life, and to receive reward for doing hard things, for doing the things that God has called us to do. Right? God called us to do it. He says these are the hard things to do. He's equipped us. He's gone ahead of us and prepared. And now there's an honor for doing the hard things in obedience. I just think that this relationship between the king and between God is being strengthened by the hard thing. And maybe that's the case in your life too, that through this hard period, we can be comforted in the fact that God has gone ahead of us and he's prepared us, 
prepared for us the supply that we're going to need to get through the hard times. So go meet him there. Go meet him on the battlefield. And then whatever that hard thing is, when we can accomplish it by his strength and by his provision that he's made possible by his preparation, we get to receive this crown of accolade, this crown of good job, high five, however God will do that, uh, this crown of fine gold, a reward for a job well done, is set upon our head at that point. Verse 4 says that the king has asked life of you and you gave it to him, right? There's a give and take in this relationship. Now, man, we think about this time of crisis. This relationship between us and God is being strengthened because we're quickly finding we're not up to the task by ourselves. We're not able to handle this on our own. We need God to meet us there. We need God to meet us in the moment and give us success. We need him to be able to come away with a sense of victory right and when we when we ask him for life he gives it and then this phrase on the end of verse four you gave it to him length of days forever and ever it's almost as if to say i asked for success and god not only gave me what i asked for but he gave me more than that how many times do we pray god these are the things we need for you to prepare for us and meet us there on the battlefield and he's not only got the things that we need for battle but he's got our favorite things. He's got some refreshments for us there that are over, the, over and above. Uh, God is an over-the-top kind of God. He's a God that loves to give us the delights of our heart even more than just the desires or what we need, right? He gives us more than. And so here I think the idea is not only did he help you survive the time of trouble, but he helped you to thrive. Uh, that is, it, it's, it's not just a, huh, it's him, not even just a weak cup of coffee, but it's Ethiopian, right? Your favorite kind. And it's in your favorite mug, right? That God has this idea of come spend time with me and I'll give you blessing. Well, it connects with a thought that I read also this morning in Psalm, from Psalm 115. Again, these words are an, ought to be an encouragement to you. It's a blessing. And so I give you this blessing today from the word of God and from my heart. May the Lord give you increase, you and your children. May you be blessed by the Lord who made heaven and earth. Right, what a great promise, right? May you be blessed and may God increase you today. And I'm not just talking about increasing your health or your wealth or your fame, right? I'm talking about that God would increase you spiritually today that's what i'm praying for myself that god will help me to survive today but god has a way of saying no survival isn't what i have in mind thriving is what i have in mind and when you get to the end i'll meet you there in the trouble and when we get to the end of this i'm going to crown you for doing a hard thing mike that's good encouragement for a monday right as we look at the things that we have to do this week some of which we don't have any idea how we're going to make it through. But God will meet us there and he will help us have victory and then he'll reward us for being faithful. By his strength and by his grace, we will overcome. And when we do, we will actually be thriving in our spiritual walk. Friends, it's not about physical blessing. God may give that long life besides. It's about a relationship that is growing and thriving. How is your relationship with God? I trust this week is going to be a week of victory for you. And when we get to Friday, there will be crowns to be given. And when we get to heaven, there will be even more crowns to be given. Well, be well, friend, and do good work. Do the work that God has called you to. Do hard things. That's my challenge, too. And you pray for me, and I'll pray for you, that God will give us not only life and salvation, but he'll give us many days from here to serve him. Well, until tomorrow, I love you and I am praying for you and I hope that you are blessed indeed by God. See you tomorrow, friend.